I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, May 19th. Got a few widely scattered showers about today, maybe a few tomorrow night, but uh, bottom line is our weather looks pretty quiet, generally speaking, through the upcoming Memorial Day weekend. Big trough in the west, producing more severe weather across the southern plains today. In fact, the Weather Service down in Norman just posted a tornado warning for some of the counties south of uh, Norman this afternoon. Uh, there's a tornado watch out in that zone, but around here, things are pretty quiet. That was the radar at 240, and you can see a few widely scattered showers. They're fairly small, most of them east of I-65, moving east, and those fade away later this evening once the sun goes down. Temperatures are mostly in the low to mid-80s, Birmingham 83, Tuscaloosa 85, a bit cooler at the Shelby County Airport down in Alabaster. They have 79 because of a nearby rain shower. To the west, we have flash flood watches for parts of Texas, Oklahoma, and Kansas. Up north, how about frost and freeze advisories for Wisconsin and Michigan? A little May chill going on up there. There's that tornado watch west of the state until 9 o'clock tonight for our friends around the Red River. And there is a standard slight risk of severe weather in that zone for the rest of this afternoon and tonight. Pretty much the same area tomorrow. We do note that marginal risk has been pulled into the uh, western part of Alabama. And no doubt we could see a few storms about late tomorrow or tomorrow night. We'll talk about that. And on day three, a couple of marginal risks. One well to the east, one well to the west of Alabama. No severe weather expected here anytime soon. Look at the big rain numbers for the next five days. 6.6 inches. Again, that's around Lake Texoma. And they could really use that. That is drought-busting type rains, not a one-day event, but the pattern that's developing. And around here, the amount's probably under one-half inch. And again, this is valid through early Sunday morning. All right, model fans, here we go. The GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 1. New trough approaching California. We got a flat ridge here. And down below that, uh, we think the day tomorrow should be mostly dry. Uh, we might mention the chance of a shower or storm late in the day, but more than likely it's going to be tomorrow night. Uh, this is the high-res NAM just after midnight tomorrow night, 1 a.m. Thursday, showing a uh, band of scattered showers and storms across North Alabama with that impulse. So, again, uh, we'll, we'll introduce that in the forecast. The chance of a shower or storm late tomorrow or tomorrow night. Then during the day Thursday, we should be dry. And, hey, we turn cooler uh, the NAM is showing a high of only 78. Some of that nice cool air up around the Great Lakes will drain down in here. Dew points dropping in the 50s. Uh, we'll forecast a high around 80, and this is Friday, another nice day. Uh, Friday morning, a good chance we start the day in the 50s, the high around 80. The humidity fairly low. Saturday as the weekend begins, pretty nice. Again, I think we start the day in the 50s. The high should be in the mid-80s. We're not going to mention any chance of rain. And we note that new uh, severe weather set up across the Great Plains. And then Sunday, again, the most active weather well to the north and west of here. Looks like a mostly dry day with only an outside chance of a shower, the high in the middle 80s. And Memorial Day, again, the better chance of the really organized rain north and west of here. Could there be a shower? Yes, but they should be pretty widely spaced. And again, the high should be in the mid-80s. A week from today, we all go back to work on Tuesday the 26th. Big old upper high continues on the South Atlantic coast. And again, uh, moisture increases. That might give us a little bump in the number of showers and storms a week from today. Here's the end of the forecast, the end of next week. This is Friday, May 29th. Uh, we've got ridging developing all across the southern states. And down below that, that looks warm and dry. Temperatures coming off the ensemble. Yeah, look at the highs dropping down to near 80 on Thursday and Friday. But they come right back with highs back around 90 by the end of this month and the first part of June. And with the ridge, above average temperatures are likely in the east, below average temperatures, often parts of the southwest U.S. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.